welcome back to my channel. Who is ready to get productive? Let's hop it, slide in. Let's, what? Let's get going. First things first, we need to figure out what what's going on here. What is this? All right, here we go. Number one, this is so hard to get in the habit of doing, but it works, I promise. Number one is making a list the night before. So easy, right? Making a list the night before, three little or big goals that you wanna accomplish the next day. So whether it's an oil change or an email that you wanna send out or something, three small goals that you wanna accomplish the next day and prioritize them. One, two, three. Easy enough, right? So make a to-do list. So this can be on your planner. I love just like a paper planner. I am old school like that. You can make something on your notes in your iPhone. You can put it in your calendar, whatever you wanna do, just write it down some more or have it somewhere where you can go back to and just cross it off. There is nothing more satisfying than just crossing off your checklist, am I right? Okay, number two. Mm, number two, when you wake up in the morning, the first thing that you're gonna wanna go to is just go straight to the coffee pot. Um, no, you wanna go grab water first. You need to get yourself rehydrated from your, your glorious night's sleep that you had the night before. Step three, oh my gosh, the hardest thing for me. Stay off social media for 30 minutes to an hour. What? What? Stay off social media. Instead, I would recommend meditating. I've recently got into meditation and I absolutely love it. I use the app Headspace and it basically helps you meditate. So it kind of walks you through, what, you know, especially for beginners, you're like, what the hell do I do with Meditation, huh? What is that? This is going to help you just kind of start your morning on the right foot. So either you meditate, you can read positive affirmations. Um, you can get an app for that. I don't have one, I just meditate. Um, but you can just even Google it. And then you can have a more effective morning if you stay off social media. The first thing that you do is hop on Instagram and start comparing yourself to the girl who has a million followers on Instagram. No girl. You need to start with a clear headspace. Number four, eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. How easy, right? Eat, eat. This is gonna help you stay more full throughout the day. It's whether it's, you know, some protein pancakes, which I always have, or you can have even some yogurt or some fruit or a smoothie. I don't know, whatever it is, just start off with a good, healthy, balanced breakfast to kick off your morning. You won't regret it. Number five, is my favorite one. Move your body for 20 to 30 minutes every single day, every day whether it's yoga, taking your dog for a walk, or running, or strength training, or whatever it may be, move your body, burn those calories, get those steps in, and I always do strength training and combine it with some cardio. Usually when I do that, I end up snuggling with my dog. It's fun. It's not a big deal. He needs love too. Um, whatever it may be, just move your body for 20 to 30 minutes every single day and just get, you know, release those endorphins. Easy, so one, prepare the night before. Two, that is starting off with water. Three, avoid social media. Dun, dun, dun. Four, eat your breakfast. Number five, move your body and if there's anything that you like to start your morning off, post it in the comments. I wanna hear how you kick off your morning, how you have a more productive day, what you do the night before, whatever it may be. I wanna hear from you guys and hear how you have a positive 
and productive day. If you found any value in this, be sure to give it a like and a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can get all notifications and have a glorious day.